Well, welcome to the Come and Grow Post Show. So glad to be here with you. My name is Matt Scobell. I serve as the online campus pastor. This is Jeremy Woods. Dude, so glad that you are here with us. This is different. What's your title? I think I'm the online production director. Yeah. So just so you know, behind the scenes, uh, there is a really good looking guy. His name's Jeremy. Uh, so like at the end of a movie, you'd see like scrolling credits. He's the executive producer. Right? Is that a good That's title the guy for with you? the money. Yes, yeah, that's, that's not me. Huge. I want to be the director. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. You're the director. Uh, well, I'm so glad you guys are here. So, just like what we do with the Come and Grow Post Show is we want you to grow in your faith. You can hear an incredible message. You heard a bunch of them in the series, Wise Up, A Better Way to Live. Uh, and if you don't do anything with what you just learned, kind of wasting your time. So we just want to give you some more practical handles so that you can continue growing your faith. So we started out week one. It was a long time ago with yeah. better friends. And then we just wrapped up with better responses. So what in between really just challenge you? What's, what's God been doing in your heart? What's God been doing in your family? Well, Proverbs was the first book I was acclimated to when I got into the Bible, you know? I think yeah. a lot of people are. Yeah, They're yeah. just little golden nuggets. Did you do your reading? I did, but not as much as I should. Hey, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. August, believe it or not, has 31 days. Yes. So you could just do it again. I'm just throwing it out there, Grace. crazy idea. <laughs> keep going, keep going. No, they were all bangers. I thought they were fantastic. Better yeah. friends. Uh, I took stock in uh, who I actually hung out with over the years. Yeah. The older I got, you know, just a little wiser with who I hang out with. And I think time kind of does that too. Yeah. Um, the one that really stuck out to me was Cody's better responses. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just how I react to people. Now. In the days of social media, I think people kind of default to negativity. Yeah. You know, so they might come to the table with a chip on their shoulder and you have no idea. It's good. Is uh, He's talked about there's um, a way to live with gentleness and self-control, two words that you do not hear much no. about in today's culture. So like the gentleness was the one in my own life that's like, I, as the man of the house, you don't need to be the loudest voice in the room in every right. conversation. You don't always have to be right. Right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, <laughs> I mean, wrong. <laughs> I'm right. Uh, and so like, those are just a couple of things that better responses was really good. Better parenting, man, that was so challenging. Uh, you have two kids. Yeah. I have three kids. Um, I remember a shifting point in my life, probably about 10, 12 years ago. There's a guy, uh, his pastor down in Dallas, his name's um, Matt Chandler. And he had yeah. a big church, village church. And I remember I was listening to a podcast, Mowing the Lawn, and he was like, dads, you need to apologize to your kids. And I'll ne my parents never apologized to me. Did your parents ever apologize to you? Maybe, maybe. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. <laughs> uh, it never, it never really happened. And I was like, okay, I never really thought about that. And you know what I do all the time now? Apologize. Yeah, all the time. And you know what they do? You know what their response is? That's okay. Yeah. You know, like, the, like they're, and we're teaching them. If parenting is teaching them uh, to be future parents, like we're also teaching them how to be a future husband and wife. Uh -huh. Like how different is a marriage when you're walking into a room, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's so. it's weird that we don't trust them with humility. Yeah. You know, like there's an un unwritten law that says respect is more important than, you know, there's so much more value to it That's good. than to look your kid in the face and say, hey man, I'm sorry. Uh, as a parent, you've got data to support repeated patterns of behavior. Yeah. So <laughs> you kind of automatically assume that they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. And yep come down on them before they've even, you know, they're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. Uh, mine's 10 years old and 15 years old. So when I do come down on them on something like that, and then I feel like a just total jerk. Yeah. Then I got to reassess and then come to them and then trust them to give me mercy and grace, you know, whenever I screw up as yep. somebody with a 20 year gap above them. Uh, I could talk for a while about this series. Proverbs is so much fun. Uh, our next series is gonna be great. Pastor Danny's back with us. August is already here. Kids are going back to school. Uh, so we'll have another Come and Grow post show at the end of August. But one of the things that we say uh, here at Emmanuel Church is maybe you have more uh, questions than answers. Um, we, we end every single week with the gospel. Like we want you to follow Jesus because that's a better way to live. And so maybe you got more questions than answers when it comes to following Jesus. Text the word COME to 65248, C-O-M-E. I'd love to follow up with you. Love to answer your questions. And then maybe someone wants help just navigating the journey of faith. What should they text? Text GROW to 65248. Absolutely. All right, cool. We'll see you next month for the next Come and Grow Post Show. Thanks again, bro. I appreciate Thank you. you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. All right, you guys have an awesome week. Bring a friend.